Okay, we have the air conditioning up as far as it'll go. The thermometer here on the car says it's 103. And we are pulling in to the little community of Mojave, which sits right along the side of the highway. There's a railroad track on one side of the road and a strip of town on the other side of the road. Lots of motels, fast food restaurants. That's what it is. Now, let's talk just a minute about tourism because uh, I think I've already mentioned it uh, as we were driving in in the car that when most of us think of Mojave, we think of this strip of fast food, service stations, motels up and down the road. It's just kind of a, it's not really a place that we think of though as an ultimate destination. It's kind of a drive through town. Well, that's true to a certain extent, but we have a lot of industry around here. We have cement plants, we have a big borax mine about 30 miles east, but we have the Mojave Airport, which we think is our real gem. Okay, that's what we wanted to see. Uh, and you're going to take us there because that's the airport that you notice when you're driving by and you see all of those planes over there. Right. And I know that if we're asking that question, you must have had a hundred or a thousand people stop in this caboose and ask, what's the deal on the airplane? Oh, that's true. People ask the people who work in the restaurants, the service stations, the airplanes and the windmills are the two things they always ask about. All right, we know about the windmills. <laughs> so now we're interested in the airplanes and we're going to leave the caboose and head over to the, what's it called? The Mojave Airport. The Mojave Airport. <laughs> okay. Well, this is exciting. After driving by this place for years and wondering what it is, you have brought us out here to the actual ramp here at Mojave Airport, and Bill introduces to our guide today. Okay, our guide is Dan Sabovich, who's general manager of the East Kern Airport District and one of the people who helped create this airport district that manages Mojave Airport. Well, we are delighted to be here, and you Thank sound you. like a man whose credentials will allow you to give us the $5 tour. I hope so. A li <laughs> little cheaper than that, because yeah. we're from PBS. Okay. <laughs> Tell us All what right. this place, how did, what is this place? It's a flight test center, really, and uh, we, we have a lot of different tenants here, and we do different things. Why here? out in the middle of, I hate to say out in the middle of nowhere when we're talking to, with somebody from the chamber, yeah. but is it because of the weather? Is it because of the open space? The open space is the main thing and weather is the next. So it was a perfect place to bring airplanes. Exactly, location, location, location. 90 miles from the Los Angeles uh, airport industry, 20 miles from Edwards Air Force Base, 60 miles from China Lake Naval Weapons Center, and about 30 miles from Palmdale Airport. Well, there are a lot of planes. There are planes down here. There are planes out here. There are planes over there. I mean, we've got, how many planes do you figure you've got? We've got over 100 airplanes here right now. These are F-4 Phantom jets that uh, we have here that uh, they make drones out of. Drones are uh, airplanes that they use for targets. <laughs> this here is a KC-135. We have a bunch of them here. And then right here we have a Japanese Zero. Then the next one here is General Electric. They, uh, they test engines on a 747. And they have a big engine now that's uh, over uh, 95 to 100,000 pounds of thrust. You can see them there. They're working on a pylon right now to get to put an engine on it. Now these airplanes here, they're going to go to Palmdale and uh, become uh, cargo airplanes. But they're waiting to get going at Palmdale first. These are... Uh, now these are all sealed up. Yeah, they, they seal them up here and keep them sealed until they get ready to go. Bill, how long do planes sit out here? Uh, you'd have to ask Dan that question. Oh, sometimes sometimes they're, uh, they'll sit out here for a year or two at a time. Sometimes I got a couple airplanes out here that have been here for 15 years. Really? They can yeah. sit here that long? Is it because it's so dry? It's dry. You don't have any dew or anything like that. I feel like I'm at LAX. <laughs> well, films have been shot here uh, depicting things that happened at LAX. Really? Exactly. 
what was that movie, Dan, where the airplane crashed at the end of the, the bus? Remember the bus with the... Uh, oh, Speed? Speed, yeah. The, the climactic scenes in Speed were filmed right out here, because you obviously can't do that at LAX. <laughs> right here, yeah. Wow, look at all these. This is like the airlines of the world, right here. Oh, look. Hi, nice to meet you. How you doing, Hugh? You didn't expect us here, did you? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell us what this is, because this is, I've never seen anything like this before. Well, this is a MiG-21, and we, we aren't real familiar with it yet. We've only had it for a couple months, and we're learning about it, and we're getting ready to do something with it. But Well, well that's pretty ambiguous. <laughs> what do you mean you're getting ready to do something with it? Well, we're getting ready to, to run it and uh, to fly it. But Where did you get a MiG-21? Well, actually, it was here on the airport, and we, we traded another a MiG-15 for it. Oh, well, that makes perfect <laughs> sense. Only at the Mojave Airport could yeah. you trade an M, a MiG-15 for a MiG-21, both of them already being here. Yeah. Now we got a whole international thing going, because you stuck yes. your head in here. Your yeah. name is? Yakov, Captain Yak. You know a plane Yak? Mm -hmm. It's Captain Yak. Nickname, Captain Yak. But you are from? From Russia. So did you come here to reclaim this airplane and take it back home with you? Defected, Mikhail when he went to Moscow. <laughs> did you ever fly a plane like yeah, that? Yeah, I flew, no, I flew Navy. You know, Navy pilot in mm -hmm. Vladivostok Navy base mm -hmm. many years ago in Cold War, when it's it said called face-to-face -face America in Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. I flew 295 Bear. You know, you're playing 295 Bear? Mm -hmm. It's big. Huge four engine rotate. Ah. Big cold war beer, atomic bomb. Oh my I make, gosh. Look, I make special pictures with Enterprise to look in the Tonkin area in Vietnam. So, wait a minute, you were taking photographs of the USS Enterprise? Yes, I just, uh, you know, it's Russian Soviet Union, paparazzi, Navy paparazzi. So, you were one of the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, bad guys say, I knew. Look, look, as bad guys say. Now, does this happen a lot oh, over a, here? This is a normal day at Mojave Airport. <laughs> People, is there such a thing as a normal day at Mojave Airport? This, this is the mother church for aviation <laughs> en enthusiasts yeah, in the world. From all over the from world. From all over the world. So you have people here. It's not unusual to have Russians coming no, in? No, we have Russians. We have Chinese. We have Japanese. We have them all. Yeah. Just come in here to look? Sure. To nose around? Sure. It's a great place to do it. Where yeah. else can you do this? Yeah, <laughs> and talk about planes with other plane enthusiasts. Right, and we've got a lot of motels and restaurants and service stations to take care of the people oh, while they're here. Chamber of Commerce guy right here. <laughs>